first of all, you know, I don't like doing videos twice, so this is very irritating to me. So I don't like doing this twice. Now, the life we go through every day, we always see shit. We see stuff on TV that is stupid and that is dumb. See things in the movies. We hear people talk a certain way in the movies and on TV. And the next thing you know, people are doing the same shit in public. They call it a trend. In order to set a trend, you have to do something that people like. Those pe people might find um, you know convenient for them, like the man bags. Saw a video today. These young dudes were talking about they ain't gonna walk with no fag bags and all this and that shit and. And the video was pretty hot. It was a rap video. I'll put the link up if I can find the video again. But these guys have inspired me to do a video. So I changed the sound structure and everything around. And I did the video. And the video would be setting a trend. And then there's a philosophical message at the end of the video. And then, of course, after I finished the video at 9 minutes and 18 seconds, I had stopped. And while the camera was still rolling, because once you stop a video, the camera is still rolling, and all of a sudden, you know, now it takes, they, they, they have to process the video before they let you view it to, uh, you know, uh, preview it before you say yes or no. And, um, you know, this processing takes longer than it used to before for me, and it's just somebody watching the damn video. And um, so the camera was still rolling while I was processing. I looked into the camera and I asked these people not to cut my video short this time. Show the whole video in its entirety. Because people only get the message because the message is at the end of the video. I act a fool in the beginning of the videos and then the message is at the end of the video. So let me go ahead and not recreate the last video but to prove my point and what a trend could be like or what a trendsetter would I be doing. Say, for instance, I'm doing some video, and I'm getting ready to get dressed to go to the club or to go to some little party where there's going to be millions of girls and all this and that shit, because this is one of those kind of show people how life really is videos. So as I'm getting dressed, I'm going to go ahead and set my trend by wearing the nappy hair, because like I said, you know, these rock and rollers will get up and do some shit like this, shake their head and spray it and do shit and it looks like they just woke up in the morning they can walk outside like that but a black person he can't rock nappy head without looking like a dope fiend or a crackhead or be labeled so let me set the trend for the first time to wear some naps without no dreadlocks you know what i'm saying and i did like this and i pulled my hair sideways and i parted it some kind of way and it stayed parted and and i said you know what i just set a trend but if I did something like that in a music video and spiked this part up and threw some in it and made it look like that and did the video and people liked it, you'd see people walking around looking like they fucking woke up out of bed. But since I am a manly man and you won't catch me wearing no damn skinny leg jeans, I will wear a skinny shirt. Let's just take it to the next level and make it a skinny jersey. You know? You put on a skinny jersey and you're like, oh, here you go, look at that. I got the skinny jersey on. It's just a, a kid's extra large. And you, you have your collared shirt. You pull your collar out like this. And you straighten your shirt out like this. And then boom, you got it going on again because you take it to the next dimension, you know. You know how they got the, they're wearing these little vests now and they got your little pinup shirts and you know, they little nerdy look. You can go ahead and, and you work this like this, you know. Get your collars even and have you, you know, do what you got to do, you know. Make your collars right. You know, it was perfect the last time in the first video. But these people, of course, you know, they want to see if you got the what it takes, you know, for them to push you to the next level so they can get paid. So now look, you ahead. I'm trend setting already. So now look, I got the, the shirt on and it's fitting. And look. Look, it actually makes my chest look bigger. It's a smaller jersey. Yeah. If it was on a little kid, he'd have to have pads on it to get it to look like this. You know, then from the side view, look. Uh, yeah. But when you let it all hang out, so I'm going to 
checks out. Do not look too big, do it. Don't don't look too big now. About to suck it back in. Oh, shut it all the way down. Make the chest look like it's supposed to. And I'm transetting now. I'm transetting now. I'm transetting now. And then you know, I'll go ahead and keep fixing that collar. You know what? This is not right. It's not finished yet. Because in order to transet, you got to have the I'm intelligent with glasses to go with it. So you put on your glasses and you got your glasses on. You got your collar all right. You know, if I was super nerdy, I'd get the, the bow tie right there and put that on there like that. You know, you keep your hair like that. You remember that part I put there? Keep that part right there, you know. You just got to keep it right, you know. You do what you want to do with it, but just make sure that people know that you're trendsetting with it. You know what I mean? You can't trendset if you look like everybody else. You want everybody else to start looking like you. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, you take it to the next level because I got the, the, the shirt and the pants. Now, here's another thing. A lot of people like to keep the button-up shirt. They pop out the bottom of the shirt. Now, see, other people do that. They have their button-up shirt come out the bottom of the shirt. See? No. No. I'm old school. I'm going to take it old school with it. I'm going to go ahead. You got to have the gray sweatpants on the match. And you just tuck it in. You tuck it in. Tuck it in. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Only buy an authentic jersey, please. And the thing is, when you're transiting, you're setting the trend because nobody does this. But if I was to do this in a video, you know, with a whole bunch of people jumping around or whatever, and I'm doing my little Bentley Lonzo thing and shit, you know, people would love this. But then you take it one more level because when it's cold outside, you have to have a jacket. These fools, I told you, they wear the skinny leg pants. I'm not going to wear no skinny leg pants. But I will wear a skinny jacket. In other words, a jacket that's too small for my big ass. Now watch this. Now, you got to stay with the same thing, okay? Man, I'm wearing Raiders shit. And I got my silver and black shirt on. I got my Raiders jersey on. Classic throwback Randy Lost jersey. And then you go ahead and put your jacket on and boom. Damn. Zip it up. Look, look at this. Look at this. Jacket. Look, look the arms on there. See Kanye West wear his like that. That's how Kanye's be. Look, mine like this. See, boom. Now I can get on a motorcycle. I can ride. You go ahead, grab a motorcycle jacket and do it. This little small jacket. Boom. Down there, verse. You know what I'm saying? Look. I'm trend setting. This is setting a trend. I go outside like this a couple times. Hey, hey. Looks pretty cool. Is that afro going on, Nappy? Got the scientific scientist smart nigga glasses on. Look at this. Look at this. this guy is the shit. Did I get to where I'm going? Bam! I'm still wearing the same shit. I am in theme. See? This is trend setting. And then after you do that a couple times in a movie or a couple videos, you see people walking around the streets dressed like that. Heaven forbid you say something stupid and they'll talk like that. Do you understand? In order to set a trend, you have to be in an individual. You have to be an individual. You can't set a trend following somebody. And when you're following somebody, you're normally behind them. And when you're behind somebody, you're pretty much always looking at their ass. So, once again, I don't like to do videos twice. And this time, you didn't get the flavor in which I was giving you. Because if you were you, man, the first time you're like, what the hell? Now you're like, oh, God. Is that what he went to say? No wonder they cut the video off. You've been tubed. This has been nine minutes or ten minutes of the most hurtful video I've ever made because I didn't get to artistically point myself out like I did the first time in nine minutes. So thank you for your time. 
And once again, in order to set the trend, you must be walking in the front of the line and not in the back. <laughs>